What if every time we looked in the mirror, our own reflection said, ugh, and rejected us? Are you really going to wear that today? Well, get your furries and your snuggies ready, because here we, we go! go! This episode is brought to you by Aguilas Hitaway. All of them! Get ready! <laughs> What up, y'all, and welcome back to the Dumb Podcast. I am Don Dario. Yo, and I'm Kev the All-Star. What up? Today on the Ha Ha Hack, we're going to be talking about staying positive and keeping a smile through all the tough parts. And Kev the All-Star, what are we going to be talking about for the topic of this episode? Yo, Don, what up? Today's <laughs> dumb topic is rejection and how avoiding it can lead to rejecting oneself. That's true, man. And as always, we ended with a little jiggity joke session, so kick back, chillax, and enjoy. Folks, we've got another amazing comic in the house tonight on the Dunn Podcast. Kevin and I both know her. Yes, we've got another hilarious lady in comedy. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, please help me give it up for Comic Lee Cummins! Lee! Lee. Hi, Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you for being here. Yes. Dude, it's yeah. been, what, not that long? We're, we're, just we're just seeing, we just saw each other uh, for the movie thing, right? Yes, is that when the was last that, time? Like a month or two ago? I don't yeah. Know. Hold no, up, the movie like the thing? Sh- the oh, the other show. show. Yeah, yeah. Kev show. I'm like the movie thing. Oh, it's oh, on Kev's show, back up too. Yeah. I mean, Kev's got a show, Yeah. but back up to the yeah, movie thing. back up thing. to the whole thing. It, Guys, I want to hear about the movie yeah. thing. Well, first of all, we met Lee. I met Lee, I think it was at JP's Comedy Club one time. I don't know where you met Lee, but she's been around everywhere. I've seen her. She's performing all over. She's hilarious. Everybody loves her. Um, and I just like to keep good people around me. So that's why we became friends. Uh, we were also on a movie together. Yes, Whoa. Section 17. Uh, that's right, which is out now on YouTube. Go check that out. Ooh. Well, Lee, thank you for being here on the Dump Podcast. We're totally excited to have you. Yeah. This segment that we start right here is called the Ha Ha Hack. Okay. This is where we kind of just share our experiences of doing stand-up comedy while we're all in the trenches together. Right. So we're not all pro comedians, you know, but we got a little bit of uh, advice to share. We've we open minded. We take this, we take that, we share what we've learned through the times what are or some years. previous hacks that maybe I need yep. to know about. Oh yeah, no. Well, I mean, you should have sure. watched. You should have watched the podcast. <laughs> I, I did. I did listen to a few episodes, but it was because I didn't understand the end part where we write jokes and you have to guess who wrote it. Yeah. Uh, if you know what jokes were mine, I know he's the only one guessing. You're the only one guessing. No. How can I guess? I know what my joke is. You're not reading yours. You're not reading yours. Who's guessing on my jokes? We don't. Nobody's. Do Just Why do I write jokes? So that we all so read, that we jokes. Can read your jokes. I don't get it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. You'll see. So we each we each write three jokes each, right? But then, like two of mine will go to you, or two of his will go to you, and then one of his and one of yours, vice versa. But you don't read your own joke. Okay. So yeah. it sounds completely different. It will never come out the way we intended it. The way it was meant to, to be. So it's That's on purpose. Dumb. Okay. That's on purpose. Especially if you can't read. Oh, yeah, read. we all sound dumb because we read it. So it's meant to sound dumb not to be like, who wrote this shitty joke? No. no. Yeah, it just, I thought it was, I thought it was the nobody. judgment of my joke. No, 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 no. no. All no. jokes are kind of shitty on here. I mean, jokes, yeah. most jokes are. I mean, these guys actually do bring the good jokes. Me and Kev. Yeah. Struggle every week, man. So <laughs> the cream of the crop. Hey, but we're doing it, <laughs> motherfuckers, and that's proof to you guys that there fucking don't that can't say you can't do it. We do it every fucking week. My ears can't every handle week. such hostility. Sorry, sorry. So comedy sorry. hack is that what you want to hear from me? I got. No. Some, I got. Oh, I was like, so I this this no. hack is talking about staying positive. Okay. So we're talking about staying positive just because I always see you smiling. 
And I think that's one of the main things about what makes you special up there and, and in this community. Um, it's hard to keep smiling. You know what I mean? Like there's so much crap that happens out there. There's so much, so many people that do shit. And I mean, I mean, if it comes with like trying to get better at, at what you do, right? A little bit of fame, whatever. It's going to come with a lot of shit, right? So it's like, how do you stay happy all the time? You know, you made me happy the other day when you asked me for a full frontal. <laughs> <laughs> Just made me happy. It's a hug. He wanted. She wanted a full frontal hug. Uh, that made me happy. Nobody does that, you know. And it's not because she, you know, did anything like that. It was just you for just a like hug. breasts on your chest. <laughs> Shut, but you like your, your you like breasts, breasts on your on chest. Your chest. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Are you disagreeing? I'm just in the middle of this. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Right He's now. like, oh, breasts. All I, I want know some. Is I, when she arrived, I got a half a hug. <laughs> And the half a hug turned oh, into a frontal hug. Should we like set the stage? I have a it, whole it, bit about yeah, the another. different type of huggers. And yeah. one of them is dudes. It's mainly dudes. Well, yeah. you'll go in for a hug. I always reach right. Like I go up like this. And guys will sometimes turn like a, sideways, turn sideways yeah. and kind of just like give you like a eh. And Kev, 100%, <laughs> and he froze. And I like, like, stay right there. I'm like, this is, it was like perpendicular. So why do you do that? Why did you turn your body? Right. Right, <laughs> coming from the side. Right. Of the, hey, because <laughs> I don't want to offend nobody. <laughs> is that really what it is? Nah, he didn't know. want her to feel his big dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Also, uh, no. She was saying it was in her set. So it is, it I mean, you booked her. You should have been watching. I'm just kidding. I should have what? Oh him! I'm trying to give him shit. Yeah, you uh, listen. I do. I've seen you. You were there when we. No, I, he's gone. Look, he's met, trying to be I there. I met Lee when I first started comedy at Tony Vitch. I'm gonna hack his last name. Vizic. Tony Vitsick. There it is. I always. <laughs> that's it. Vitsick. Vic, what? I say Vitsick. Vitsick. That's how you say it. Vizic. I say this whole Vizic. time you've been murdering his last. Yeah, name. even when he announced him as a headliner. He's... I do it on purpose oh. though. Because you got to take his class to get really get the joke. Because he's always V I V I C H or V I C I C H, and so it's Visic. But when you spell it, you're like Vavicic, Vavicic, Vavicic. Every anyway, time. Anyway, at the Class Clowns at Tempe Center for Their Arts is where I met Lee like five years, years ago. Oh, so, yeah. Well, it was 2017, 2018 time frame. So. <clears throat> Yeah, what? Yeah, five. We're not good with math. About good. five, five, seven, <laughs> five, 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 five years. That's five years. Wait till we start reading. Um, <laughs> so, how do you Rejection. stay positive <laughs> in comedy? Like, what? What? You don't. What do you do? <laughs> I, I personally, I just, I like to shove things down <laughs> deep. I just let it. I, I, don't, I let it. I don't deal with the bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, I, I hear somebody. Oh. This person said this, and this person said, I don't mm. care, man. I don't, I don't mm. want any of that. Can I go up? How much time? That's it. Like, what? The time and the place. That's all I need to know. What? How do you stay positive in this shit? Okay, so I think for me, in general, I'm a smiley, happy, positive person in yeah. general. Yeah. But in regards to comedy, and I'll get hate for this, I avoid open mics. Hey. Ah, because of the hate. Yeah. I mean, because of a bunch of reasons, probably, right? It's just why surround yourself. There are some amazing comics. Let's start with that. I, there are so yep. many people I love in Phoenix comedy. There's great comics, <clears throat> but there's also a big pile of shit that shows up <laughs> to open mics. And I'm not even saying like I don't care if you're working on your craft. That's amazing. Do it. But there are people there who are just there to be angry, vile individuals. Yep. Very angry, true. Vile individuals. <clears throat> Take note. Very true. It's no, a... I'm a fan of that. <laughs> Shit, I want that goddamn bumper sticker. <laughs> Or a hat. He's angry like, Val individual. He's like, vile. That's, that's my next car. Club. Veteran. <laughs> Veteran. <laughs> angry <laughs> Val individual. Nice. Yes. Because you don't have to be. Like, no, right. you don't. It's a choice. Like, and that's what I think. Like, I'm not cruel to anybody. Why do you treat me like shit just because yeah. I exist? Right. Mm. Ow. I think, you know what? I, I've heard some people where they say stuff like, yeah. I don't laugh at open mics because it's like, if it's not funny, I'm not going to laugh. It doesn't help them if I laugh. It's like, I understand that, man, but like, you're also not the funniest person either. You know what I mean? Like, people are out there just to 
try their stuff and it's a craft so support like, yeah, if you think something's funny, laugh. Yeah. But I've gone to open mics with stuff that I've been doing for 10 years. I'm not going to say it kills, but that it does well in a normal room, and it will be dead silent right. in a room full of comics. <clears throat> right. Which, okay, that's normal. That's normal but thing. why? Why is that? Why, why are we not supporting be? each other? Right. Well, so, so you just nailed it. So that's part of my issue. So I started All Stars United comedy show, right? Yeah. Which means three hours. <laughs> it's a length. <laughs> now that just rolled right into exactly what I'm talking about. Like, so support each other, just hang out, chill, yep. get to know the room. Even if you've heard the, the comic that's on stage, you've heard their stuff however many times. But me being a millet in the military, you just miss camaraderie. Right. So right. you're sick and twisted. So the veterans are sick and twisted. Comics can be sick and twisted. That's right. I just love to laugh. I love to hear the energy and the vibe. And that's, that's my way of getting to know somebody a little better just chilling kicking in the room but yeah. but you're saying you use your show of booked comics love a little bit too. so it's a little it's elevated it's, it's a elevated comic. Though. it's, a book it's show. people that you've seen do stand up before right. it's not someone who just is like i have three and a half minutes to say whatever mean things right. and it, it you know holds barred and they use it i'll get off my soapbox about this no but. i get you i get yeah. you open mics are open mics so you know but your point was you you want to be around comics for the camaraderie and the like creativity. Yes. And I choose to avoid that at the open mic scenario because to me that's not a vibe. I'd rather be around people mm. who have made at least the next step to being a booked comic or mm. like right. I like that. Actually doing it to try to better their craft. Gotcha. Right. Are you gotcha. trying to really go somewhere in in your com comedy career? Right. Right. Are you trying to elevate to the next level, or are you just telling dick jokes all day? Did you ever? I'll say it. <laughs> Wait, did we even go through the regular times we did? How long have you been doing comedy? Did we go through that? No, how no, long? No. Let's ask right now. How long have you been doing comedy? Well, Total. I got the next question. <laughs> so the short answer is 10 years. It's when I started 10 years Why ago. is that the short answer? Because there was three years I didn't do stand-up comedy. Well, you started and then you stopped for three years? Yes. How long were you doing it before you stopped? So... Math, not my strong suit. I'll say like I had been doing comedy for like three years, stopped for three years, mm -hmm. and have been back for four. When you say that stop, you perfect. fully stopped or you like transitioned to like improv? I would improv say like in a year I did one or two shows. You were still writing or just no, like No, I stopped doing stopped. comedy. And then okay. someone would be like, do you want to be on the show? And I was like, mm, like no. that's a good show. So yeah. Okay, cool. But Wait, I was just like, well, I'm done with these people. Right? I'm done with. It's right at that mark. That's why I asked because it's right at that three years where you're like, you've been in it. You know some stuff. There's some fucking bullshit that you gotta get past, and you're just like, "Fuck this! It's not." It's, this is, yeah. At the point, it was like, "This isn't worth it. Why am I doing it. this to myself? The time, yeah. the energy." Yeah. It's the sa That's the same feeling as being a Dallas Cowboy fan. I'm just letting you know, from experience, people, from experience. What's his rejection? <laughs> rejection completely, um, which brings us to no, our. Nope. Topic of the day. No, go okay, for it. Okay, I was like, no, yeah, yeah, yeah you want to read? No, I'm just gonna ask what, um, you know, because we all have our reasons of why we get on that stage where this open mic or we take a class or whatever it is. What got you yeah. saying? You know what? I'm gonna do stand up comedy. Do you want? Okay. Yes. It's not an exciting story. So I had gone on this camp out up in Payson. Already this, exciting. <laughs> right. <it's> Already. <laughs> Let's start. How is that? Okay, I don't go. really camp. One night, it's my max. Like, I think I just had come up for the day. Like, I wasn't even going to stay the night. And this group of girls and I got out of the car, and they were like, oh, I'll say your name, because Larissa, it's so good to see you. And everyone was like, Larissa, you're so pretty. And they were like, <laughs> this other girl, you're so smart. And I was like, oh, what am I? <laughs> <laughs> and they looked at me, and they go, well, you're funny. <laughs> And I was like, well, I better freaking do something with this. So I had gone to Tempe Improv okay. because I used to go every Thursday to the Tempe Improv because you would get in free if you wore a Tempe Improv shirt. Mm. I'm old, okay? This is like 10 years ago. I was there all the time, and there was a flyer on the table that said, do you think you're funny? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And so I signed up for Tony Visix <laughs> Comedy Schools.com classes. There it Fuck is. yeah. There it is. Nice hookup. We're going to get him on the show. We're going to get him well, on the podcast. All right, we're going to at least cut that part, and we'll give that to you. You can promote. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Uh, we love you, Tony. It was funny. I met – so he's always talking about Tony on the podcast. You <laughs> motherfuckers know. Um, but I met him at uh, the second or the first? The first. The first show. The first time you'd met him? 
first time I met him. Oh. He's always talking about it. The first time I met him. And, <laughs> you know, comics, we always, <laughs> I don't know what it is about situations, but you just say things, you know? <laughs> And the first thing I said to this man who's got so much respect in the comedy community, and I respect him greatly, had, there's no disrespect in what I said at all. And I just, but the first thing I said to him when I saw him, I was just like, You're much smaller than I thought you were. <laughs> you know why he's smaller? Oh, you know, I'll tell you why he's smaller. <laughs> oh, no. he, he cut his ponytail off. He cut that Ron Jeremy ponytail off. We're short, not sad about he, he got shorter. <laughs> no, he's just no, getting older. I know, I know. We love you, Tony. I think he's the <laughs> angles. He's getting the angles from the bottom, right? Tony, you get the angles that make you look wow, big. It's like most of them get from the top. So you're like, oh, he's kind of, oh, look at, compare him text to the mouse of the computer. He's right. small. No. <laughs> um, but still love you, man. Killed it. You killed it that night, That's Tony. Right. It was awesome. Natural. Fucking amazing. Well, years of years of the craft. Right. Years of the craft. <laughs> I said, well, I said natural, so it's like, eh, so I don't really know if any, anyone's a natural, you know, especially on stage. You, know? yeah. you can be funny at your family gathering or your high school, you know, class clown, you know, yeah. but stage is different. There's still, there's stage still like, different. yeah, like rules or how we were talking about the other day about improv. Uh, there's yeah, like there's these, like etiquette. And, yeah. Uh, you know, so. There's certain things so you... So let me just ask you, it's kind of changing topics. Yeah. People say to me after shows, you have such great stage presence. Yeah, <laughs> you do. What does that mean? I talk loud. I, I bleh, what does it mean? That yeah. means you're not like me, and you have a podcast, and you're constantly saying, "Oh, oh, 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 man." I re I edit this shit. Yeah, go ahead. I I edit this podcast, and I feel like editing that part out like but it's everything that i say is, uh, so you being up there and you having a stage presence is like you 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 know who you are you accept who you are you're trying to spread who you are to the audience and and you do it gracefully so it's like there's no you, you're undeniable and that's what i think is very important in comedy is that that's that's how you make it. Just be undeniable, and I think that's exactly what you are. So that's what I think stage presence is. is. A, they say it, and I think they mean it as a compliment. But I'm usually like, so you don't think I'm funny? <laughs> no, but you're you're hilarious. Well, that, but when people say that like, to you, they would be like, you guys are so funny, great show, and they're like, you have really good stage presence. <laughs> like, no, no. And my brain goes. You're not funny. No, I think no. You're no funny. Just, so that's I like the about, that's the bottom of it. That's like the base of it. I don't you're know funny. about Don, but I've 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 been told that. So, for me, when they say that, it's because you can work the stage. Yeah, you but know. I don't even move. I mean, I don't. I I, I you, hold. I. You guys, sorry. You one do, thing you I want to talk. You don't. I do the same thing. You don't move the mic stand. Yeah, you, don't don't you do, even I said. Do, yep. Leave it in. You told me to leave it I was like, shit. Okay. That's what this ha ha hack is about. That's one of them. Is to is leave the mic in, or we all talk about it. Some people are walkers. Some people they need to go and and kind of storm the stage. <laughs> but I learned for myself, the easiest thing is go up there, say the things into the mic, don't do anything else because it's just distraction. I, I mean, I also like to act out and yes. do stuff. So if I don't have anything in my hands, even better, man. Mm. Even but I better. I feel like if you are holding the microphone, that's like one of those patting your head and rum rubbing your stomach. Like I'm talking with my hands. How do you yes. like? Yes. How do you express yourself with your hands if one's stationary? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, how do you not that like coordinated? Yeah. How do you do? How do you pretend fuck if you have the microphone? You know, you can't like pretend fuck and do the sounds. It's hard. Just that's important. Um, what else? So that's what the haha -ha hack is. That's what we talk about. It's just little things that we've learned. Um, so that's why we were talking about staying uh, positive in this shit. And I know exactly what you mean, man. Um, there's a lot of people out there. See, here I go with the um. Mm. <laughs> there's a lot of people out there that don't want to do comedy for that same reason or they don't want to do open mics or, or just avoid stuff right which kind of brings us to our topic of the day which is avoiding rejection man you can't avoid everything all the time um rejection is part of life 
right? And you it's like, accept it. yeah, and that's one of the things. That's why, okay, I understand, I, I get it when you're saying don't go to open mics because it's just a bunch of viral, vile, what did it it's say? Open, it's open, <laughs> vile, it. no. angry, angry, vile. <laughs> something fuckers oh that's my language people uh, working on their craft it's people working yeah. on their craft there's people working on their craft but you're right it's there it's open micers right like some of them won't get past that and won't go start doing you know trying to do better things with comedy and it's just about going there and fucking because that's their social shit. life right that's their and thing. there's nothing wrong with right. it but i'm like i don't need that right mm -hmm. right but it's also part uh, some people do it for that rejection part because you're going in there and you're, you're, you're there's going to be a stage, it's, an audience that's going to not yep. like your shit. That's going to say, yeah, you're funny or yeah, you got great you stage got presence. Great, great I, stage think, presence. But, I think sometimes an open mic is also like jumping in the fucking middle of a forest fire. That's right. Like, especially when it's comics and they're not paying attention. And if you say something and all of them laugh, you know you got some good stuff. You do you though? You know right. what I use do it. Do you though? Do you though? See, you, this is great my, question. This is my exercise with it because you're right. Like there's, there's it's so a, it's a weird coin. There's so many different things that we try and we're, we're like, sorry if I keep spitting. There's so many things, different things that we try and we're like, does this work? Does that work? But one, like one key, ha ha hack is let it breathe. Let your joke breathe. And that's what I do at open mics. When I throw my shit out there, there's no other stage that I let it breathe more than at an open mic. I fucking let, I throw it, and I'm like, mm. and, it, and you give it that little extra, and those fuckers will, they're slow. That's what it is. They're just slow. You fuckers are slow. <laughs> you are slow. <laughs> So it'll get there. Just give it time. That's what I, 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 so that's just my main thing. I don't go up there and try to be like, oh, well, will they like me when I start, you know, talking to them and, and, and trying to do my things on stage? No. They're like, who's this monkey? Why is he, I don't give a fuck about that. Why is he doing that? I don't do that. He's taking up my time. I got to go to the next mic. You know, it's just about themselves. But I do it for that thing of going going somewhere and feeling like they're gonna reject me and I'm gonna fucking get through it anyway because fuck them. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna <laughs> shift a little bit. Yeah. So people are like, well, you don't do open mics, you're not part of the scene and you don't network. A given. The networking <laughs> part is lacking on my part for sure. Mm. But I think we'll plug Tony Visit Comedy Schools.com again. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I love baby. It. I love that is it. Going every week, you're you're <laughs> writing and focusing on a new five minute set every yeah. week. Like every right. week, how do you think every I week built, five minute I set? Built, how do you think I built every all week my five, five minute set? Five weeks, he gives you that as homework. Set. Every week's got to be a new a five minute. You're working you. on a five minute set over oh, a course of five weeks. Over five weeks, five minutes. Which is what we're doing. You're coming back and you're building on it, and you have a group full of people that are focused on the same task and are asked to provide. Feedback, not yeah. just to hear themselves well, talk, not only that, but to provide feedback. They paid to be there. That's true. So it's not a fuck around, fuck fuck. And even if you are, Tony will put your ass in your place. I feel like we. Need to, <laughs> I promise you that. I feel like we <laughs> need to experience. add Tony to the dumb podcast. He needs no, to sponsor, he, he, right? For the Tony. Has well, we plug said, you so look, much, fucker. Tony has already <laughs> said yes. So. Oh yeah. Tony has already said no yes. to doing it as a guest, but to being on. Cause we do the ha ha yeah, to hack. being on. No, to oh, being on constantly. Because the ha ha hack is perfect for him. Uh, yeah. He's got so much knowledge. A lot. Anyway, um, I'm just trying to defend myself as to why I don't go to open mic. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to get that out there. She's those just trying to go out there and put that out there. Where you open mics? And I you had comics give you feedback, and you got feedback, and you you had writing sessions. And writing I mean, session I remember and the performance is in front of yeah, a you have a stage. audience. Like you when you're actually stage. like saying it for the first time, it's not to a front bunch of comics. It's yeah. actual friends and family. Yeah. Of but other even people then, in the class. Though, like, uh, yeah, I don't what. It's if so if you don't have the funds though. It can get kind of difficult, you know. So oh, open mics may just be yeah. the best place for some, and especially if it, thinking oh. about the age bracket. Ideally, that's a great place to start. Okay, yeah. well you let's know? talk but about that. But I mean, that. but There's open mics for some, open mics aren't for everyone. I agree. But try being right. a older than everyone, mm -hmm. bigger than yeah, everyone, yeah, ready to go a home. female, ready to go home. And uh. 
happy. And happy, right? Happy. No, you, you're right. No, you're right. All no, those you're right. are legit. You're right. All those are yeah. You're right. You're right. And I, I'm the same way. You don't. I got indulge, the same if shit. You don't indulge I got the, in alcohol and all that shit too. Yeah. I got the older so thing, sure. and I would hear little motherfuckers go up there and be like, to trying to tell their little older comic jokes, which weren't even fucking funny. They're not jokes. <laughs> They're not you just want to go up there and be a fucking asshole. I know you. I see <laughs> you. And. You're not doing it anymore. So. And then you're like, you got to so, be able to take it. If you're a comic, you can take it. Why can't you take it? And I'm like, I don't need to tell because I'm large that I suck everyone's dick because that's what a fat girl has to do. That's yeah, like, fuck that's you. Not, yeah, it's not Do you even, think that's the first time? No. That's, right, yeah, right. I know. I, I get it. I get it. But there are certain things like an open mic, like I was telling you, is I let it breathe. The other thing that I do is, um, and I've seen this, like, in difference between myself and somebody else, is just running your five minutes run it run it run it run it if you don't run it run it run it when you go to that show sometimes it doesn't come out the way it should have come out and if and if you would have been practicing and run it at an open mic it would and that's the only thing is practice is, is what no, I, I and I agree with that some comics are like write new stuff write new stuff and I'm fuck like them. perfect the fuck stuff them. you've perfect got the shit, fuck them yeah. yeah I don't care Mold it's it, an open mic it. they go up there and they bullshit yeah. and they talk about old people and they <laughs> think this is their time right I go up there and I run my fucking shit that's an open mic you can't tell me I can't so you know what I mean that's what I do so no open mics. New topic. I'm just kidding. Yeah, new topic. <laughs> no, yeah. seriously. No, but... <laughs> so, I've shit on open Beat mics. the dead horse. Nah. <laughs> beat that fucking You're horse. You're not going to me there very often. Right? You're, You're going to open the mic. Them. You're going to open the mic. You just make sure you buy mic. her tickets, motherfuckers, because she <laughs> is hilarious. She'll be at shows only. All right? <laughs> um, I get paid. With frontal right. hugs. With full, front, full frontal. frontal. <laughs> That's right. Um... So I wanted to talk about this rejection uh, because, and now we're going to talk about you know, this karaoke thing, but they can't hear it because we got good mics. Um, background music never hurt anybody. It never hurt anybody. We're just going to start like, this da- is a good dancing. Song sucks. That's it. Yeah. What is it? Tennessee. Tennessee. No, what is it? Doesn't matter. Okay. Doesn't fucking matter. Uh, rejected. Reject um, that song. <laughs> Reject <no>. that song. <laughs> I want to talk about rejection because like, I, I I I think that's a big thing that everybody like goes through. Not just in comedy, but like in life in general. And I just think it's totally true. Rejecting, avoiding rejection, kind of rejects your yourself in a way because you're trying to say, "I'm not even gonna try that. My life doesn't exist in this realm," and you're just cutting something completely off because you're afraid because you're afraid you're not going to be good at it because you're afraid people are going to say something about it and when when you do that to yourself instead of somebody else doing that to you that's the worst thing that you can do you know what i mean don't reject yourself when there's so many other people in this whole world they're gonna fucking do it for you anyway you know what i mean so message (laughs) um that was deep no, I always do these things and then nobody knows what to say afterwards. Well, I, no, there's this, isn't I there should a quote, fart. Like, I need to have a fart uh, no, sound. No, stop. <laughs> you don't need farts. Isn't there a saying like every get every step forward you don't take, you'll never shoot. There's something shoot. about Two it. steps forward, no, two steps no. back. Like, <laughs> She's thinking no. a little deeper than that one. Yeah, well, it'll come to me and I'll be it's, like, that's what It's this country it. thing. You're thinking two step right now. <laughs> It's like every step forward is a step like, in the right direction. It's like you'll always get a if you don't do it, it's always a no versus the potential for a yes. If you try, if come you on, don't ask, me. Well, it's, if it's you don't ask, it's always a no. Something like that. Something like that. If, yeah. if yeah, it's not good. a step forward, it's two steps back. Paula Abdul. Ah, Paula Abdul, see, opposites thing. attract. Opposites attract. <laughs> that yeah. Cat. Oh gosh, she's hot. MC. MC. We're staying for karaoke. Oh, that's no. it, man. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's time for the Jiggity Joke Station! Oh, yeah! <laughs>
It is going down, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm here for. Well, that's right. Good oh. fucking job. God that was very it. dramatic. Oh, yeah. I got a <laughs> like my life. <laughs> and I'm wet. Oh, oh <laughs> I got them both. I got yeah. Got uh, sweat. I'm hard and I'm wet. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys, we've got three comics in the building tonight, and it's What's about to do? go down. Let's jiggity joke session. Yeah, count them. One, two, three. Please. Okay. About to go down, and as always, we always start with our Yee. guest of honor. Oh, how so nice of you. Oh, coming. Yee. Madame. All right, so I'm just going to tell you guys because I didn't know. I've never not read these, so this is like cold read, okay? Just so you oh, know. Oh, snap. Ready. Let's see how she does. You've heard that China sent a balloon over the United States, but the U.S. shot it down. 30 years later, and this just sounds like a bad reboot to Stephen's King, Stephen King's It. <laughs> Lod knows America will feast on your flesh and feed on your fear. Now come with me because there's something down here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. That's a creepy ass movie. I feel like that could have used like uh, that. <laughs> something, something down here. Down here. Yeah, I feel like you're going there, but you're like, I don't know if I should. <laughs> Great read, great, great, great read, good read. one, good one. All right, let's All right see what I got. you're next. Right there. There's a lot of comics that don't smile while on stage. And I can't tell if it's because <laughs> they have a snaggle tooth <laughs> or are really concerned about avoiding wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> nice. Just like you before this. Right. <laughs> but so, no, I'm going to let y'all know why he said that. <laughs> so, well, brother, if, if y'all are fans and you follow oh, look me, at the you hair. see my hair being fro, look at that. braids, twists. It's been many years since I've just slicked it back. Looks like a good, man. Bam! God. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Look at that anyway, for those that know, I don't got to explain to y'all, but to some... They said, what's all them wrinkles on your forehead? Oh. From the do-rag, baby. From uh, the do-rag. You gotta, oh. the, the, you gotta hold it You gotta down. maintain the fro, because it... You gotta suffocate it wants that to motherfucker. Let it out. It wants to breathe. You gotta yeah. suffocate that bitch. But ain't this motherfucker pretty, though? She oh, yeah. Like really cute. You look like... Coming like out. Yeah, that's how it's even... Like, like Samuel L. Jackson and Foxy Brown, baby. Hey, mm. good, good movie. That's a good, that's a good go, role. Go ahead. But wait, why do you think some comics are so angry on stage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why are they angry on stage? Do you guys smile when you're performing? Yeah, I do. all the time. Okay. All right. Yeah, you do. guys know, put it down in the comments. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. No, don't, don't, put yeah, put, put, put it in the comments. Yeah, put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. Why are y'all so angry? Why? Yeah. Yeah. They're That's right. good. We need a call. This is what they call a call to arms, right? <laughs> you guys need to start using our ways of communicating. So leave comments, get on that Instagram, get on that Facebook, and start communicating what the fuck you want so that we can change stuff or we can talk, yeah. right? That's what we want here. So who the fuck are you and why are you We'll so give you a angry? shout out in the next week's episode. You'll be like, this Ooh, comment from so-and-so. Yeah. Thank you for your comment about that's angry comics. One. He said he doesn't smile because he wears tight underwear when he's on stage. <laughs> to make sure that, I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know why. By the way, yeah, don't try those ball sack underwears. I tried those. Uh, those are no good. I think so that seems like a perfect good, solution for you guys. It's good for when you're standing up because there's extra material and... You know, your balls have a little apartment to kind of just hang out. You know what I mean? And But when you're standing up, but when you're sitting down, like when you have regular no. boxers, no. your balls get to just Let splatter them. everywhere, Let right? Them. Let them hang. But with that pouch, they just kind of like choke your dick and give it like the what ultimate. The <laughs> what the fuck? The ultimate turtleneck. Oh, you know what I mean? It's like. Can't breathe in here. Oh. Get me out of here. <laughs> he 
got his nuts film like so. tits in a bra. <laughs> oh, I feel you. <laughs> got that under sweat. Hey, I'll st- I'll still we'll still sponsor all you on here. We'll take sponsors for the ball sack underwear. So that's that's fine. Just pay. So us. Wait, do you think if they had more space in the ball sack area to like? To splatter. We, we need some splatter. splatter. We, we need name. some splatter space in the ball sack. Okay. Maybe undies. your balls are just too big. I just came up with this. <laughs> Maybe my balls are too big. <laughs> I'm trying to like give it next, He's next got really big balls. Merch. <laughs> dumb sack. <laughs> yeah. Um, dumb sack. Mag- <laughs> dumb sack. <laughs> dumb sack. Uh, somebody draw. invent that Dumb shit. sack draws. <laughs> <laughs> the magnum. There's some, of, dumb, <laughs> there's some dumb nuts. <laughs> You want some dumb nuts? Yeah, get some dumb we nuts. We need to make him a snack. You know, oh. in a bag. Dumb nuts. Dude, Yo, sh- copyright, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, co- copyright. Because <laughs> we, we said is so. That, is that how we do it? Is that how it's we'll legal? We'll put it in closed caption. Yeah. Is it time for, it. for a snack? Oh! oh! I brought you guys the That's newest true. item from Costco, you yes. guys. Look okay. at this. Which Uh-oh. camera? These are right. Reese's oh. dipped animal crackers. Oh, fuck yeah. What? You guys want to try I've one? I've been waiting Love for this one. the entire fucking episode. Take one down. We pass it around. I like that it's coming out in the Jiggity Joke section, actually. Ooh. So you okay, motherfuckers have to wait. and look. Shit at the I'll end. like commentate. So oh. chocolate on the outside. Okay. The peanut butter on the top part. I'm but it's an animal cookie. Cracker? Animal cracker. I took two. You, you can take like eight. Oh my god! He said he loves Reese's, but we have to start. Is oh, it Reese's the, or Reese's? It's the lion. How do you pronounce it? There's a lion and a rhinoceros. It's, 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 it's or Reese's or Reese's? It's Reese's. It's Reese's. It's Reese's. And and let me just. <laughs> it's Reese's peanut butter. Reese's. Reese's. It's Reese's. <laughs> but I heard in Canada there's no S and it's just Reese. English. No. I, I, they, oh, I they speak French in Canada. Okay, what do you think? Oh, I'm okay. Like, I'm done okay, wait. We were doing those like review oh. things, right? So first of all, it's oh. got it's got the motherfucking butter, peanut butter on the outside, which Hold peanut up. butter Reese's peanut butter is the best nah, fucking nah, thing. Nah. And then it's only got a layer of the chocolate, which for most of the, of you who like peanut butter, it's probably gonna be the best thing ever. And then what's on the inside? Animal oh. cracker. Fuck me. It's like what a girl gets when she sucks me off. <laughs> she gets what? What was that, that? dick? Because I'm chocolate and stuff in there. <laughs> she gets the animal cracker. She gets some of that chocolate. Mmm, shit is right. so good. No, that's so good. Wait, no, for real? Jeez. Check it out. What do y'all think? Oh. After one bite, that my good. mind said, pour them into a bowl with some milk mm. and eat them as cereal. Mm. No, it's no. not going to get in there. Yeah, it will. I vote freeze them and enjoy them slowly. Ooh, those are good. Like a frozen thin mint. I totally spit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got a mint. lisp. Oh my god! Those yeah. Are good. I like them. Oh, sorry, Kev. Sorry, sorry. And that is brought to you by Reese's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Beep. Yeah. There. Now we don't get the episode aired. We, s- we said it wrong. I know. We gotta take this out of the. We put it with a hyphen. Out of the shot. Here, you take that on the side. <laughs> they just blur it out. They just blur it out. Wait, do we have to cut that part out? No, you don't. No, not unless somebody starts paying Let's us see. money for it. Let's test it. No, it's just like that's the whole. No, it's just like if people go to Burger King and fucking try out their fucking Whoppers and shit. Next thing you know, they're fucking on fucking Burger King posters. Well, to, when was the last time you went to Denny's? What? All these Instagram stars and all them fucking shit. 1990. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it hasn't been. I haven't. No, no. I need those eggs, my eggs, and have me all the time, man. I need that but shit. But we give them a thumbs up, right? Yeah. Thumbs up. Double that thumbs shit thumbs. was fucking amazing. Snack break. Okay. Reese's, uh, what are they called? Animal crackers. Very hard. Dipped animal crackers. Reese's dipped animal crackers are the best fucking thing I've ever tasted. They're dumb You're, delicious. My fingers will show you that right now. And I just moved <laughs> a bunch of podcast shit all over the place. I'm going to get sick. I'm going to say it again, just because I can. They're dumb delicious. They are dumb delicious. We're going to splice this shit See up. Get some money. Dumb delicious. Let's all do it. Together. Dumb, dumb delicious. delicious. Dumb delicious. They're dumb, dumb delicious. Dumb delicious. They're dumb delicious. Oh, my God. They're dumb delicious. They're dumb delicious. Okay. Yeah, like you're high. Like, <laughs> these are like Yum, dumb delicious. 
I'm They're go fucking wide. dumb delicious, bro. <laughs> What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> we just made like a we're, million dollars. We're high bro. just off of the sugar. We're high off the Did sugar. Did you guys get moment. high off of my Holy puffing? Fuck. Is that what it was? <laughs> All right. Sorry, guys. See, this is what we people are the jiggity happy people does. Jiggity this, is happy. this is the best jiggity joke session it is. This ever. Is good. We, Thank this you is. for bringing the cookies. That was yeah. awesome. You're welcome. Well, Do we call them cookies? Yeah, you're, you're crackers. They're crackers. They're delicious. Fuck. You gotta I want call more. animal crackers. Just show might get beat for that. Crackers. <laughs> 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 we I brought also, the crackers. <laughs> well, you can believe you it can out use because this, a, this got pulled for me. You can me use this, this as a as a napkin if you need to. Uh, what? We got pulled for saying crackers. No, uh, I did. Animal. I, I <laughs> you did. did. I'll talk <laughs> <on> Facebook. <laughs> Do you <laughs> not like white people? It was. It, I they fucking don't like commented it. on a comedy club called Crackers, oh. yeah. and I wrote in my comment, I said, I said, huh, that sounds racist. And, I, <laughs> and then I wrote, and then, I, and then I wrote, I went, oh, <laughs> Crackers, as in cracking joke, not cracking whips. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course Bam. you're gonna get it. Of course, you're, of course. That fucker had like a hundred likes real quick though. Like, <laughs> Good like, shit. Hey. Good I, shit. I fucking. Hey. I was like, yo, you probably can't be calling your club that. <laughs> this is where my mind went. <laughs> where is Crackers Comedy Club? I don't know. It just we came across Google your that. feed. Yeah, it was. I think it was somewhere in Cali, probably. Hmm. I would assume. Maybe New York. I don't even know. Not here. I know it's not local. I know that. I thought it was also interesting because there's two blacks standing in front of the side. <laughs> <laughs> my fellow African brethren. <laughs> that's my white half talking. When you I call you brethren, when need I say brethren, we know that's that, Utah. Yeah, yeah. See, she said we know we just know that. only some know. Yeah, when you say knows. brethren, this is my brethren. In the quorum, yeah, that is an quorum. elf or something. Quorum. Quorum. Of the twelve, you need a you, yeah. you need a, remind me. I, know, I can't spell quorum. No, remind no. me to tell you <laughs> the what? Focus. Huh? Focus. <laughs> <laughs> Rejected. Oh my god! God, <laughs> what are these cookies? <laughs> Holy shit! That was like what the that fuck was like when on? that was like when like you have like some kittens and they're playing <laughs> and they're fucking around and then all of a sudden they just look at you. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, all right. <laughs> you see him focused? Did you see? Him? All right. That motherfucker pulled his own kid. Re <laughs> Remind me. <laughs> Remind me to tell you about a joke. <laughs> to add to that uh, thing about uh, crackers. It's going to be okay. like church where you can't stop laughing. I know. Uh, uh, <laughs> church? What? At church? Oh, shoot. Uh, crap. Oh, this is awesome. It's trying to be all quiet. And you're like. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I was doing that shit at work today. So, so this lady joins in late. So she didn't hear everything else that was going on. And then everybody else had to turn on their, their, their camera. And she wouldn't. So she felt a little guilty about that. So she went in deep on the the introduction because it was a new employee and, and everybody's introducing themselves. And, and so she went in deep uh, on where she was from and she's not from here. So she's from, you know, overseas somewhere else. And she, she just went in deep on, on their problems and like how oh. things are, you know, super negative. And we're just sitting here like... Oh. Oh my god. But you can't even see her face. This is you can't even see her face, but like she just you don't have to go that deep. You just say, Hey, I've been here for two years. Happy and, to be here. Yeah, I work in accounting. <laughs> Let me know if you can help. Nah. She's just I like come from a there's, bomb tour war tour yeah. country. <laughs> there's, there's famine so, everywhere. They're suffering. <laughs> you, there are people in, in the bad places in the mafia and you I do the it. right thing but you can't and just don't use the cows. Don't sit on the cows okay it was like what's <laughs> happening i think she had some of these crackers that we just had <laughs> <laughs> that's the cow i'm like where it's, did the cow i think yeah. there's a cow on the front yeah it was good it's good i think they have you it you want to talk about jill in accounting i'll tell you about something to complain about <laughs> <laughs> sounds like somebody's got a case of the mondays the mondays she really wouldn't turn her camera on at all 
No, so yeah, people Did use Did anyone this. say it in the comments though and let her know? You know? She like, had a snaggle well, tooth. All I typed was in all I typed in the comments was this is the best introduction <laughs> ever. <laughs> Welcome to the team. Welcome to the team. <laughs> Um, and I was just laughing. That's why it reminded me of the church thing because I was on mute, but I was like, thank God I can mute myself because I was laughing my mm. ass off. It was amazing. All right. We're in the Jiggity Joke, jiggity session. joke session. Who was the last one? You never no, I think yet. I think it's my turn. Oh, God. We haven't made it through one round. That was a good we haven't made it through break. One round. That's no, great. we haven't made it through one round. <laughs> so hot. Also. Good. That was good. Thank you. Could you imagine a play or living in a place where balloons say made in China <laughs> and earthquakes shake, rattle and roll, and people still celebrate the Grammys? <sighs> Welcome to the United States where we don't give a beep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> made it work. I like yes. that. Oh, that Finally, we got that shit. You got it right, though. That's, that's, good, good, job. Job. good job. Good job. You wrote that for me. <laughs> oh, oh, I think it was. All right. Was uh, <laughs> Lee, you are next. S2. Good luck. Can I peruse it for a second? Yeah. Oh. Do what you want. You can't read it. That's what I wanted to. Okay, ready, I'm ready. You guys, dogs are great, but they forget everything they're taught, and it's hard to trust their loyalty. So when I see a dog, I let them smell me and make them sign an NDA, a naughty dog agreement. <laughs> hmm. If they break it, I beat their friggin' A. <laughs> 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 that made it. That was great. That would, no, that was great. That was great. Great number two. All right. Uh, Kev, oh, you are up. Adding her own B. <laughs> <clears throat> Making friends is hard because mama always said that if folks ain't got something nice to say, they shouldn't say anything at all. Is that why nobody talks to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, so and the answer is yes. I, yeah, I think we I think we all need to do like voices. Is what's <laughs> happening? That's it, that's it's the theme tonight. All right, uh, S two. I get picked up for a movie here soon. <laughs> great actors. They're amazing. They're comics I can read. All right. They say the most important thing to do in comedy hustle is to stay positive. I disagree. I am a huge fan of being negative. On pregnancy tests, breathalyzers, and STDs, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good one good one good one all right who's turn okay I mean, positive is hard especially when we get rejected so many times in life i now understand how telemarketers feel only my hang-ups come in the form of swipe left and on to the next and that's okay because plenty of fish has something to keep me positively what? hard <laughs> What? Wow, Lee. What'd you That's what I was gonna say. Golden <laughs> oh, pony. Oh yeah. Stay golden pony boy. Yeah. Being hopeful about the future is stupid nowadays because we all know the end is coming soon. So while we're hoping to see flying cars or visiting space, we should just be hoping to see. Tomorrow. Like all you baby boomers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Are we baby not boomers? Baby what are we? I know. What are we? What are we? What are we? I'm, we're not baby boomers. Are born in the 50s. I think those are our parents. But what are we? <laughs> no. Ish. No. Ish. Are we You're generation a, X? Are you 45? Oh, wait. No, there's no, more letter, <laughs> there's no more letters left. I, my hair makes me look 65, but I'm only 45. No I, you know what? I don't know if you noticed, but I was like. 
I came in and I looked at your hair really quick because I didn't know if it was blonde or if it was uh, what. I don't well, know what now that thought. you've taken a closer look, what do you see? I don't know, but it looks good. I don't know what it, it, whatever well played. you so want to call it. I've been going gray since I was approximately. You said, I don't know, but it looks good. That was a good say. That was a good say. Learn, I kids. Spiel. This is how you do it. Don't be an idiot. Okay, so my hair was, I'm a brunette, okay? But oh. I've been going gray since I was 20, and my hair grows in by the inch. It's not like those cute people that have just like a strand. Mine would grow yeah, yeah, in gray, yeah. and I finally I just gave up, and this is now growing out. So I bleached the shiz out of it, and now it's... I so like it. Natural. So I'm not dying it. it anymore. You yeah. owned it. Done dying Bob's my hair. Done. I'm done. It looks really good. Thanks. So it's it was naturally brown. Dang. Well, Black, like dark. Mm. Dang. Mm. All right. I guess okay. I'll start doing it too, man. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, look at this. This is look the color. This <laughs> look at like, my chin hair. It's like here. it's getting too long to fucking keep dying, man. I got to fucking stop something. It's getting expensive. Uh, <laughs> what do you put on Your it? Air spray paint. It's the beard paint. Do you really like yeah. permanent dye your beard? Yeah, I just in color? I spray paint it. No, you spray paint it. in colors. I'm already spray painting on the walls anyway, so might as well just fucking do, do it on my face. you literally just for men on your sides? The Gillette thing? The barbershops yeah. do it. Probably when he gets it trimmed, huh? I mean, when you get it trimmed, oh, they, they color old. your they shit. They always want to touch it. I'm like, I no, hate that shit. Don't. <laughs> just do this. I came for it. And this. Just kidding. <laughs> I was like, can you have that done? You're like, full no, Brazilian, yeah. please. <laughs> no, but dude, it's getting to a point where like I am gonna have to start getting a pedicure. I can't reach my toes, man. <laughs> like, Why? is that, huh? Because your back hurts. No, because I so I busted this knee, so like to cut my nails. Like if I if I stay in this position where it's like to the side a lot, the pain is not fucking worth it. Like you I can't ask like, your kids to cut your toenails. Fuck, fuck no. no. What the fuck? What the you guys, fuck? this is a weird That's thing white about me. Shit. I don't Holy mind shit. feet. Wait. <laughs> Give me some clippers that and I'll cut your toenails. What? What? We could do it live on I don't I don't oh mind feet. God. I'm not Who's, like obsessed with them in a sexual I'll pay way, to watch but like that shit. <laughs> But yeah. I don't mind feet. I'll like rub you guys, your feet. Like, if, if you, you want to watch put this your feet up here, I'll down in the comments. Get us up. No, not the Papillon. What is it? Uh pet a pedicure. No. The, the the app where they can pay money to help oh, cash Patreon. app Patreon yeah. Patreon go to Patreon oh, like to mine to my Patreon I'll even show you my feet you have a Patreon no <laughs> <laughs> to my we do she can plug it so at the end of the show what's the last and joke we're gonna get a pedicure we'll uh, what's the yeah. last joke of course of course do you, if you have clippers for you, seriously for real that was for reals and seriously Jesus. One word. we're gonna do this this is the dumb podcast <laughs> somebody run to CBS we do dumb shit all right, let's okay, go before focus. we run out of batteries or some okay. shit. Uh, whose turn is it? My turn? Yes. You did yours? I'm done. Yeah, we're done. All right, my <laughs> turn. Oh, last one. I don't want to end it. Just kidding. All right. The best way to make it in the world of stand-up comedy is to keep smiling. Because rest assured, the audience will be laughing at the stolen Mitch Hedburn joke, the open micer is pretending they just wrote. Ah. Oh, so that one true. was good. <laughs> so <Back true>. that <laughs> up. It wasn't funny, but that was good. <laughs> I was gonna, uh, I was gonna add my own thing in there and start cussing, but I was like, nah, keep it clean. That was very good. Uh, all right, so before we forget, because I always do this, but I'm, I'm getting on to it, people. Before you leave, we have to have you guess who wrote the jokes that you read tonight. Does anyone know what I did with my paper? <laughs> <laughs> I've got it. Oh, wait. No, Kev's got it. I don't. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh. Busted. How the hell okay, that so I just go down, like, number one, I think was. You just yeah, always go yeah. down, ladies, all right? Um, Every single banned. time. Just like that, bam. <laughs> ladies, we can talk about this. <laughs> because if there's no reciprocation. He's talking about <laughs> cutting his toenails. Yeah. Or something. No. What were we ta I we're mean, talking about else? reciprocation is what we're talking about. Yeah. Reflection. Precipitation. Rejection. Precipitation. Or just Jackson. <laughs> What? Ejaculation? What happened? Rejection? All right. 
So the one about staying positive and telemarketer, mark, plenty of fish, plenty of fish and staying there hard. There you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is Dawn. No. But not quite. Oh, shit. Not quite oh, wrong. Shit. We fucked her up. Not quite right. It's fine. How what? I? We it's fine. Her. We should have given her the rules before it's she It's all right. It. She didn't know. She's the first one to do it. All right. Did she She's get the all first two? one to do it? Did she get all two right? She oh, got the other two one? right. Okay. We're gonna give you. We're gonna give you this one You're because the first we didn't one give to you the rules. No. All right. There's one. There's one person. The rest of you motherfuckers are gonna give you the rules, and you all will know. Lee, you get the pass. She got all three right. Unfortunately, we didn't get two point five. We just, <laughs> we we just didn't give, give you the rules. You should have known the rules before you guessed. Um, one of the rules, and this is so everybody season knows, three. season three, Kevin and I will start writing jokes together. So this joke was actually wrote and written by both of us. So she I says both half sucked. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Do you think it was an okay joke? Other, I mean, the funniest part that was me saying positively hard. Like, so, yeah. nah. That was Kev. That was great. <laughs> well, okay, so we're going to have to switch. Ne- no, not next That's time, cool. but we'll switch here we'll and switch. there. We might just switch. We're not going to tell them we what tell we're them doing. They don't need to know. Yeah. Don't tell them what? Who that wrote who's what? writing what? Oh. Yeah. yeah. But good job. Oh. What's my prize? You guys yeah. won my prize. <laughs> <laughs> so well, excited. okay, okay. So we, now you will get put into the uh, list of people who've gotten 100%. And that's just because we didn't give you the, the, the rules. The, it, it, yeah, we kind of tricked you on. That was a trick question. All right? Oh. So just know that everybody out there, that that's what's going to happen to you. She gets a pass. Uh, she will be on the list of people who get 100%. So now you get to qualify for our, our finals at the end of the year. We just had one. It was Gotta fucking hilarious. It was, wild. it was fun. It was wild. So many comics here is loud. It took two hours. Uh, two hour films. <laughs> okay. What, seven? Uh, seven? It was funny yeah, as like fuck. Anyway, so there was you a, can watch it. Episode 40? Episode 40. Episode yep, 40. season two. Season two. It was the final episode of season two, episode 40. Um, check mm-hmm. it out so. on YouTube. Subscribe, like, tell your mom, fucker, and all that. All right. right. Uh, edit. So. Um, the only thing then to want? plug yeah. is February 14th, Tempe yeah. Center for the Arts. Come watch the love and... Marriage show or love show? Whoa. I don't know what it is. It's a lovely show. What time? Seven o'clock, TCA, Tempe, Arizona. Thank you so much for being here, Talk Lee. Thank you for adding to the funny. Yeah, you want to leave a uh, social media somewhere people can follow you? You'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Lee Cummings, L E I G H. Don't call me Lay. Leah. What's another one I get? Lay. Bitch. Leia. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's Lee. Lee, 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 Lee. That's what I do my knees. Oh. Lee, 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 Lee. Okay, there you yeah. go. Okay. Lee's amazing, man. Guys, make sure you follow her and buy tickets to her shows. She's hilarious. Make sure you follow Kev. Everything he's doing, man. Big fucking shit <laughs> we're going to be doing together as well. Dog, I'm proud of you. Your shows have been awesome. I have to show you a video of of your shows. You have anything to plug that you want to do? Hell yeah. Oh, okay. And I don't this is coming out after I say all this, but that's fine. Got a show tomorrow night, matter of fact. Got two shows. Probably gonna stick around for the third one, which is Wednesday. What's that? Yeah. The eighth. Couple days. February eighth, which is tomorrow, which is a Wednesday, like I just said. At six, eight, and ten at the Mayan. Obviously, y'all ain't going to be there because it's coming out after that. But then on February 10th, got two shows at Toso's up North Phoenix at 8 and 10. The late shows right before the Super Bowl because, you know, what better to bring in the Super Bowl weekend than with laughs. But you won't see that either, whatever team you're going for. (laughs) That's cool. But then coming back on February 18th, February 25th, and March 4th and March 11th, you can check out All Stars, All Stars United LLC comedy show at Roadhouse Restaurant and Lounge, where I got a whole slew of comics. Yeah, he does <laughs> hitting the stage. You you can bring a pillow, a blanket, a, a fancy jacket. Um, a seven to ten o'clock. It's a free show. Great food. You can meet comics like myself, Don Dario, Lee Cummings. Come show some support. Support yep. local comedians. Yep. That's what I do. Um, 
yeah check me out kev the all-star on all platforms that's right thank you guys um so for me uh definitely i'm gonna follow up uh on what kev said uh kev the all-star the roadhouse i tried the food fucking amazing if you get any of the burgers get those little uh tavern chips don't get your boring ass fucking fries she started with the tavern chips and i was like why did she start there mm-hmm. what i she know start? why she started there because they're fucking delicious <laughs> uh i cuss too much you're rightly uh, <laughs> i didn't say anything can i give you the mom look like, in his soul. That's she's why. just staring down at me with the mom <laughs> say look it like. one more time <laughs> say it one more time <laughs> he'd be funny if you just didn't cuss so much you'd get more work if you didn't cuss so much <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, no. Love you guys. I'll be there eventually. I'll grow up. It's just not time. I'm just still in my mid 40s. That's still. I still gotta go through puberty and all that. <laughs> all right. What do I got to promote? Kev the All Stars shows are amazing. Go to them. I've been there every time. Um, hilarious comics. It's like a squad. Kev the All Star is he's been in the military. It's like now he's building his his like comedy squad. So it's it's awesome. It's awesome to see everybody there. It's awesome uh, to be part of this whole experience in comedy. Thanks for putting it on, brother. Thanks for having Thank us all so. on there, dude. It's Thank awesome. Um, and stay tuned because the Roadhouse is uh, doing some major major moves. Um, I have to plug. The show that you're also on, which is February 9th, uh, it's not going to come out. This is not going to come out by then. Um, but it's a big, big show, man. Uh, we're going to be doing It's called The Maya. I was saving that. Bar and Grill. <laughs> I was saving that for you. <laughs> All right. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a great place, dude. Uh, the food's good there. The drinks are good there. The, the atmosphere is awesome. It's Mesa. What can I say? Buy your tickets now. Hope to see you guys there. Any other show out there, just go there. I mean, they also have open mic. I know Lee doesn't like that, but uh, <laughs> it's fun. Uh, we also have an open hey. mic. Yes. All right. Aguilar's hit away, but not the lighthouse. It's at the bunker, which is on Dysart, just below Van Buren. Um, this is an awesome place. I think that we talked about it on one of the podcasts. It's downstairs. You have to walk. My knees are feeling it. But I'll meet you guys down there every Wednesday at 8 p.m. It's fun, man. We get to turn off the lights, put a spotlight on you. It feels like a real comedy club. We're supportive. Drinks are great. Come out there. It's a great time every Wednesday at Aguilas Hitaway, Dice Harder Van Buren, 8 p.m., Thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay safe and have fun in life. Wait, I have one quick summary. The summary oh, of this episode. Summary of this episode. She's Lee she's mixing a, up. She's like no, interrupting no, no. Yeah. the 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 farewell. The, the farewell. The the, that was the just way too farewell. calm. Way yet. too calm. Quick summary. I'm like, meh. No, it. it's just say no to open mics, and you're like, I'm creating an open mic. Everybody, come join me. I need friends. <laughs> Can we get the do- the dolphin? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that takes us right to live to laugh laugh to live because without laughter what's the point true peace peace, peace.